Hey guys, this is Woody, and today I'm going to be explaining to you how to build your own homemade parabolic antenna for your Phantom 3. Now, you're going to need some basic household supplies, uh, some aluminum foil, some, let's see, zip ties, some sort of heavy-duty tape. I use hurricane tape. You can also use some glue if you really want to, and you will need a package of red plastic cups. It doesn't have to be name brand, that doesn't matter. Just a red plastic cup that has the same shape. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take a couple of these cups and drill a hole in the bottom near the edge, and then you're going to cut the cups in half, and you're going to use four cups four halves all together so then what you do is you take one half and you wrap it in aluminum foil and you want to get the aluminum foil as smooth as possible um, so that you get a good reflection of your signal so you wrap one half in the aluminum foil and then you take the other half and you install a zip tie in the top you just cut two slits in the plastic and push a zip tie through and make it big enough so where it'll fit around the antenna and that'll make sure you have it stabilized so it's not going to flop around against the antenna then you just uh, take both of those halves and you can trim them up make sure they you know they look pretty even and you're gonna get a good cone shape out of it um, not really a cone but more of a uh, I guess a half circle and uh, you just you take those two halves and you just tape the hell out of them I mean you take whatever strongest tape you can find and you just tape them together and um, that's pretty much it and then you can take both halves both cones that you created and you can tape those together to make one piece so you don't have two pieces laying around in your kit bag um, you can you can tape both halves together and that way you can just put it on your your controller with one hand and take it off with one hand um, that's pretty much it it's a really easy mod to make um, that's I mean there's really not much to it and it works great um, right here is a test video so you can see how far you can actually get with it okay guys so we pretty much started here um, this is a range test for the parabolic antenna that I cheaply made out of red solo cups some hurricane tape and some aluminum foil. Now previous to this flight the furthest I was ever really able to get it away from the controller without losing video feed was about 1500 feet so this was pretty exciting for me um, I got right around 5000 feet and the video feed started to cut out and I got signal loss warning so that's when I turned around but um, this right here just proves how far I can go with this homemade setup that I made myself so um, if you guys want to make it yourself um, feel free to use my design I don't care uh, it's really easy to make and I'm pretty surprised no one has thought of using cups as the base because a lot of the ones that I see are made out of paper and they just aren't going to last for a while now for me this is just for a temporary solution because I'm on the road and I don't really have access to a mailbox right now so um, I would just order one of the parabolic antennas that you can get aftermarket from people that make them 3d print however they make them I'm just gonna get one of those but I won't be able to get one for a while so I decided to make this and as you can see I just turned around right here 
Um, that's right around 5,000 feet away from where I took off at, and uh, that's the furthest I've ever been away from the controller, so I'm pretty happy about it. And there's quite a few trees and buildings and stuff, so um, I am at about 400 feet, so there is probably some line of sight, but there's still some trees, tree lines there, and uh, other things, but... I mean this this right here you know 5,000 feet that's pretty good for you know a mod that you can build yourself you don't have to uh, do anything to the controller itself or change anything you just put it together you put it on there and and you're good to go um, so that's that's pretty much it um, I'll just leave the rest of the footage here so you can see me flying the 5,000 feet back to where I started at and uh, for me I don't really see a need to go six seven eight miles like some of the guys are going um, that's really I mean you can't see the drone and uh, if you're trying to you know somewhat follow the FAA rules uh, you're supposed to have visual on your drone at all times so really you're not supposed to even go that far but um, for me 5,000 feet is really good that helps me know that I'm not going to uh, lose you know signal from my drone when I'm trying to take pictures of something that's you know nearby because I've had issues with that um, in some of my previous flights where you know I'm flying and I'm trying to get a shot and I'm losing signal and it's it's really aggravating so uh, just something simple like this can can really help you out and help you to where you can get that drone position where you can get the shot that you want without worrying about losing signal so for me that's the best part about it So you can search on YouTube and you can find um, any number of different ways to build this thing you can come up with your own way to build it but the basic idea is to force the uh, the radio signal in a 180 degree cone because right now as standard the signal goes out 360 degrees well half of your signal is being lost behind you so if you force that signal to the front it turns the controller into a directional antenna and uh, that way you can point the controller at the drone and you will you'll get a lot farther so you may be able to get even farther with your own version I just I put this together really quickly and um, it's not perfect by any means but it works so uh, thanks for watching guys uh, stay tuned to my channel I'll have some more drone footage coming out pretty soon